I'm going to show you how to create user books and commentaries. We call these user modules. User modules work just like the other material in the software. You've got books and commentaries, and your books and commentaries will be linked in the margin. They'll show up in the verse guide, and the verses will be linked in them automatically for you, and you can search through them. So let's get started right away. I'm going to go to the user menu and create a new user commentary. Click this. I'm going to call it my notes. You can use something a little more descriptive than that. And for the abbreviation, I'm going to use my notes. The abbreviation is the little tag that will show up in the margin and also is what is used on these tabs here. So you want to pick something that you can recognize. Click OK. And now here is my new commentary. See the My Notes? The little pin icon means that this is editable and I can change what it says. Now when I want to edit this, there's a couple ways to do that. You have a button here that says Edit This Commentary on this verse. And that will edit whatever is active showing there. But the quickest way to do this is to click Edit Next to the Verse. In the, in the margin area here, I've got a link that says Edit My Notes. So I'm just going to click that and up pops the editor. Notice that the editor is separate from the commentary panel. You're not locked in here on this particular entry while you're editing it. This means that I'm free to explore the other material while I'm editing my own content. And I can use Sword Searcher while this editor is open. I can do Bible searches. I can read other chapters of the Bible. I can look through the books. I can do anything that Sword Searcher can do while this is on. And you can move this off the screen to a different monitor, uh, whatever works for you. So I'm going to start by adding some text. I'm going to make a reference to another verse. Now see what happened. While I was typing this, this turned green and gave me some dotted underlines. And if I put my mouse over it, I can see that I have made a verse reference to 1 Timothy 1 15 through 16. So as you type, the editor will let you know which text it says is a verse reference, and you can put your mouse over there just to make sure that it's what you had in mind. Now while I'm editing, if I'm satisfied with what I've got and I kind of want to just save my work, all you have to do is press Control S or click this button to save it. Now, now that I've saved it, you can see that the text appears here in the commentary panel for John 3.16. And the verse that I typed in is automatically linked. It's also standardized. You'll notice that I didn't bother to capitalize this and it's showing it to me in the standard reference format. I'm going to go add some more text and when you are done and you don't need the editor anymore you just do save and close or close if you don't want to save so save and close now that's saved and my my additions are added here and if i want to make some more changes anytime i'm looking at this i'll just click this button and it will open the editor again for me or i can go click this link again now notice that since I've saved some content here, there's a new link in my margin. It says my notes here because I have something on this verse. And clicking it will make it visible. It's already visible, but you get the idea. So I've shown you how to make commentary. Commentaries are intended for verse by verse notes. So this is great to record your personal notes, things that you might write in the margin of a printed Bible, that kind of stuff, on verses. Well, now let's go look at books. Books are intended for topical or dictionary style material or collections. So let's uh, take a, an example of a collection of Bible studies. I'm going to go to the user menu and I'm going to select create new user book and I'm going to call it my studies. My studies. Again you need to choose an abbreviation that's uh, unique so you know what it is when you see it. Now here's my new user book called My Studies, and it's empty. There is nothing in it yet. So when you're creating content in a user book, you've got to add the entry. That's really simple to do. You just click this button here that says Add New Entry. And I'm going to write Salvation so that I can record a study on salvation that I might want to print out and hand out at church or something like that. 
and I'm going to click OK. And the editor opens up on my empty entry for salvation. So let's say I'm going to start by making a list of verses about this topic. And I'll just do what we're looking at here. So as you can see, the verse references again automatically linked as I'm typing. So I could see that it is what I intend. And I'm going to save and close. I can just press Alt S. And here's my edited entry in the book panel. And if I want to edit this to make changes, I'm just going to uh, click this button right here that says edit this entry. I could also add a new one or rename this entry if I want to change what it's called. And I can delete this entry very easily. Now, thanks to deep referencing, there is a link over here in the margin for John 3.16 to the entry that I just made in my studies. And it shows right here, if I put my mouse over it, that I've got a reference to John 3.16 in the entry for salvation. And your user material works like this, just like the other books do. If you click this, it will open it if it's not already visible and highlight the reference for you. So I hope you can get an idea from that how powerful this really is. As you're writing your own material on a topic, it will automatically link in the Bible margin for you. I'm going to go back and edit this again to show you something else. Now let's say I want to, my goal here is to create a Bible study handout at church. So I might want to have some of these verse references expanded in line so that when they're printed, people can read the full context. That's easy to do. We'll just put the cursor on the verse reference. I'm going to press Control T. And as we see, the full text of this reference is expanded in line. I'm going to save that. And you can see how it appears here. Now, if I wanted to print this, I would just right click on it and select print this window and this content will be printed for me. There are quite a few options here for inserting other material. Instead of typing verse references, you could use the link to verse option. There's also ways to add entries to other books and commentaries that are in the Sword Searcher library, and you can actually add links to searches so that you could perform a search and see the results right from the user entry. I'll let you explore these on your own or look at the help file for some more information. So I'm going to close this. There's some other stuff here. You can also print your entire user module this way. And if you're a power user that wants to be able to export the material, you can go here. This is advanced user module maintenance. I won't show this to you, but there's some additional tools in there that you might find useful. Now you can continually add content to these modules. You don't have to make new books for new studies. Right now, it just I've just got salvation in here, but I could just add another uh, entry like this. Let's say justification, and I could start editing that. I'm just going to close it for now. So now you see I've got two entries. You can create more books. You're not stuck with just one. You can make as many as you need, as many books and as many commentaries as you need to organize your own material. There's one more thing I'm going to show you about the user commentaries. This is where you're typically going to store if you have like your own personal thoughts on verses, things that you've learned while you've done your personal study. So there's another really useful feature in Sword Searcher in the verse widgets. These are the verse widgets. And right here I have a widget for the treasury of scripture knowledge. But uh, you can set these widgets to anything you want. So I'm going to make one widget for my my notes commentary so that it always appears right here on a verse even when I'm not looking at the Bible margin. We go to the file menu, select preferences and settings, and choose the verse widgets page here. And here are the verse widgets for links to commentaries. And this one's just been turned off. You can select anything you want from your list here. I'm going to select my notes and make sure this is turned on. I'm going to click OK. And now next to each verse is a widget for my notes. And notice that I have written a verse note on John 3.16. So this one shows in a darker color. And if I hold my mouse pointer over it, I can read the content. And if I click it, it will load here if it's not already loaded. Now if I shift click it, I can edit it right away. See how it pops up. I was holding down the shift button when I clicked. So that's a quick way to edit. 
And on a verse that I don't have anything written, I can see that there's no comment on this verse. And if I click this, the editor will open for that verse and I can start writing right away on it. So as you can see, Sword Searcher is not just about a bunch of books. They're not, it's not just a big study library. It's also supposed to be for your study of God's word. So now you know how you can make your own commentaries and your own books to really make this yours. Thanks for watching.